Welcome back, viewers. Um, let's continue from where we left off. Um, Mr. Asari Boedu, Kwame Asari Boedu. Yes. Um, K A B, B. B. right? Oh, yeah. Cow. Right. That's good. <laughs> okay. Carry on with where you left off. Okay. So with Royal London, which is one of the big six, I call them the big six. You know, with insurance, like every other industry, mm -hmm. they are the biggest. Those in the middle, and then they are those budget ones. Okay. Even like your car. Cars, they are those are the top class, middle, and then yes, Royal London is one of the big guys. What they do is that when an advisor has come to you, spoken to you about insurance, you've decided, yeah, this is important. I want to sign up. They take your detail, pop up, apply. When they send the application, mm -hmm. some of them, because they know that oh, you are on this medication, perhaps. You are diabetic. Mm -hmm. If I put diabetes on your file, mm -hmm. the insurer will not give you a policy. Mm -hmm. Because of that, I will not earn my money. Mm -hmm. If I will not earn my money, then there's a problem. Okay. I have wasted my time coming to you. And so I will not fill that in. But then I'll send the policy on to the insurer, mm -hmm. which is Royal London. Mm -hmm. So Royal London realized that some advisors are not doing their job right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm thinking saying, of the commission instead of the of original. Course. Absolutely. Course. And the yeah. client should be your focus. Mm -hmm. right. Client centered. Fo yeah. Yes, you must focus on the client and know that yeah, one yes. day the client may want to claim money when times are tough. Mm -hmm. And then if there is a problem, then it's bad for the industry. Okay. So Royal and what they've done is after they've sent the application, they behind the advisor will then send you mm -hmm. everything that the advisor has said. Even though they've set your policy on live, mm -hmm. they would want you to review everything mm -hmm. okay. that the advisor. Oh, okay, so that's why they send me that. So oh, they will right. send you okay. that, and then mm -hmm. in post, they will send you a code. Mm -hmm. Use that code to yes, log in. That's what I did, yeah. And then, mm -hmm. okay, you go there, they say, My age. You confirm that. Mm -hmm. You confirm your height. Mm -hmm. You confirm your weight. You, you know, your height and weight gives you your BMI. BMI so if yeah. your BMI is heavy, mm -hmm. you are at risk. Of dying early, yeah, mm -hmm. right. So the advisor may tweak your height, your weight. Mm -hmm. Maybe you you weigh hundred, but they may write eighty, just so that the insurer will not ask questions. Mm -hmm. They will just take up and then give you your life policy. Okay. So they come to you when you look at it. You say, Ah, I mean, I only I only weigh eighty. Mm -hmm. Why did they put hundred or the seventy? Seventy. You, you get me mm -hmm. and then good. you make that change, change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then it goes there so when it goes there that helps royal london to make their decision, yeah. mm -hmm. so that's why you received the code um, yeah. yes so what would you say is a, a good uh, sort of age or a good circumstance in going for things like a life policy with critical illness okay so. i did a flow chart and i wanted to i want to go through the flow chart very quickly mm -hmm. um maybe in the future I, I can pass it on to you after you can share with okay. your, your viewers mm -hmm. i did this uh, flow chart that every human being living on this earth you must ask a few questions one of the questions you must ask is do i have dependence do I have dependence? Do I have anybody in the world that depends on me? If the answer is no, then no problem. Go forward and ask yourself, do I have a mortgage? If the answer is no, do I have outstanding debts? If the answer is no, then you go and ask yourself, do I want to leave an inheritance for anybody mm -hmm. on this planet? Maybe the answer is no. Maybe as for you, you are walking the world alone. You don't have any loved ones. You don't even have a dog to give anything to. Mm -hmm. So we said, no. Okay. What about you? You will die. Mm -hmm. If I die, do I want to be thrown away on the street? Or I want a befitting burial? Mm -hmm. Do I want to cover my cost of funeral? Mm -hmm. At least. Mm -hmm. At least my own funeral. Mm -hmm. Should I cover it? Because you can get um, a funeral director to receive money from the insurance company mm -hmm. to take care of your funeral mm -hmm. once you are gone. Mm -hmm. If the answer is a no, uh, if you don't have money to cover your funeral, then of course you need insurance. Yes. Then there you have to take, bam, I need insurance. Mm -hmm. If the answer is I have the money to cover my cost, 
then you are locked in a safe box. This is you, a human being alone on this earth, no dependence, nothing. But I have saved enough money to take care of my funeral. Mm -hmm. Then you don't need insurance. Okay. You are fine. No problem. Mm -hmm. Now, here is the person who says, I have a de dependent. If you have dependents, then you will benefit from a life insurance. Mm -hmm. Because when you are gone, your Somebody. absence will affect them. So you must leave something to make their life comfortable when you are gone. Yes. If your answer is no, but I have a mortgage. Mortgage is a loan mm -hmm. that you've taken off a loaner, right? So it must be paid off, whether you are alive or you're gone. So if you live in a house and you are paying on a mortgage, mm -hmm. if you die, the uh, mortgage provider will say, oh, the guy is dead, so let us leave him alone. Mm -hmm. They will repossess the home. The property, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get me? If the people there do not pay on the mortgage. So what, you ha what happens is that if you have a mortgage, then you will benefit mm -hmm. from a mortgage life cover. Okay, just a quick question. Mm -hmm. So with a mortgage life cover, Mm. Uh, as far as I understand, mm. you will normally get, when you take up a mortgage, you will be conditioned to take a mortgage life cover. Is yeah. that the case? Not in all circumstances. Mm -hmm. Now, it's becoming more and more mandatory from the mortgage provider. I think it makes sense because otherwise... So a broker mm -hmm. who, brooks, uh, who, who sets up the mortgage facility for you mm -hmm. will tell you that you need to have a cover. Most brokers will try to set you up on a cover. Yes. You get me? Most but are they in the rightful position to advise you because they are not the of original course, course not. insurance? Every, everybody, everybody will love to make money in their own environment. Yeah. His main work is mortgage, mortgage breaking. Yeah. But, right. trying to sell but he knows that there is an opportunity. Mm -hmm. To, to make sell, sell you a life cover. Yeah. To sell you a life cover. Mm -hmm. So he will broker the life cover for you as well just to make some money. You know, in Tesco or any of the other um, grocery shops, shops yeah. they are not uh, pharmacists. That but guess what? They sell medicines. Yeah. You get me? When you get, you're lucky, in, a sh in one of the shops, you may have some a pharmacy who will come pay money to Tesco and then set up a pharmacy there. Mm -hmm. That pharmacist can advise you on medicines. Mm -hmm. However, when you go to the counter ones, where you can just pick it, paracetamol, mm -hmm. pick it, mm -hmm. you cannot call any of the Tesco shop floor staff mm -hmm. and say, listen, I want this medicine. How many of you should I take a day? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> we, we cannot <laughs> advise you on medicine. Mm -hmm. We are not trained for that. But we can sell it to you. You get me? Yeah. So Tesco is taking advantage of the opportunity mm -hmm. of selling medicines, mm -hmm. but they do not advise on it. That is the same way with the brokers, which is why we spend time being trained mm -hmm. on uh, life insurance and mortgage insurance. So seek advice from a trusted advisor, advisor. to yeah. get insurance. An expert. Yes. Yeah. Right. So if I can finish the uh, flow chart. Okay. If you have a mortgage, then of course, you will need to get a life insurance. Then, if you don't have a mortgage, but you have outstanding debts, debts must be paid off so that the curve is like that. When your debt curve is flat, then there's a problem. Okay. That means that someone is not paying. Mm -hmm. The money is stuck here. You get me? Someone mm -hmm. is not paying. So if you are paying, then it means that the curve should be sloping because today you owe 10,000. By next year, you shouldn't be owing 10,000. Mm -hmm. You yeah, might be less. owing less. So you need to get a mortgage cover going downwards as insurance as well. That is the cheapest as well. Mortgage cover and then debt cover, that is the cheapest form of insurance because it's at what we call the decreasing term. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So the one that they normally, they will normally sell with a mortgage, they will have two types mm -hmm. where one can be maybe like on a fixed amount Level. as you've borrowed. Yes which may be a little bit expensive. Correct. And then you have one that will be decreasing with a mortgage. Fantastic, yes. And that one will come out a little bit cheaper. Cheaper, 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 cheaper. But there are pros and cons in, in both. But 
naturally every mortgage must be set up in a decreasing term because mortgages reduce value over time. Mm -hmm. So today you owe 200,000. In 20 years, you probably end up owing what? 50,000? You get me? Okay. So if it's set up on level, and then you're paying the same amount of money for 500,000 and the same amount of money for 20,000, then it does not make sense. Mm -hmm. So it must be set up on decreasing term okay. so that as the mortgage reduces, it's going down with it. So all the time it's clear. Yes. All the time your debt is clear. Yes. However, um, obviously from a finance perspective, mm -hmm. you may want to be in a position whereby you are assessing the difference in the cost mm -hmm. of the of the of the policy, isn't mm -hmm. it? So, for example, if I have a decreasing term, um, say I have a fixed one, maybe going for twenty five pounds yes. for for the life of the mortgage, mm -hmm. or if I have maybe one that is going down that may probably be reduced to about twelve pounds. I will probably make that decision and say twelve twenty five pounds. Do I feel is, is it something that is significant in my finances? Yes. If it's not, what I may then do is that I'll probably go for the level yeah. one, whereby if it's something really should happen to me, mm. it will pay my mortgage off and it's it will happy. still leave money. Absolutely. Uh, for this is fantastic brain there. Mm -hmm. You see, that is why yeah. when it comes to mortgage cover, if somebody mm -hmm. calls you there and say, oh, I have a mortgage facility of 200,000, I'll be paying for 20 years. We do not just recommend mm -hmm. mortgage cover mm -hmm. because we know that we'll be, we'll be recommending a decrease in term, maybe at 6% interest or 4%, whichever one it is, we'll be recommending a decrease in term. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. as human as we may be, some people do do real mortgage at some point in their to life. To get a little bit of equity, isn't it? To get some equity. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be right back. Please um, subscribe and hit the notification button so that you have the next video when it, it, it comes out. Thank you for watching. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, we're going to carry on with where we left off. My question to Mr. K.A.B. Kwame Asare Bodu is what you tell the ordinary Ghanaian about the importance, about the, the benefits, the privileges of having a life policy? Okay, we are. Um, first of all, I want us to remove a certain mindset and then throw it away once and for all. Forever, ever, 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 ever. Let us understand that we will die. We will die. There is no nothing out there that will guarantee you life forever. You will die. No matter what you do, you will die. I want you to get comfortable with the words death, death, death. It's inevitable. You yeah. will die. And if you will die, then please, you do not have a choice. You must plan for your death. Don't just die. Always plan that if I should die tomorrow, then life must be better. I should have left a better place behind me than a worse place. So understand that. Mm -hmm. Now let us move forward. Yeah. Wealth creation, one of the most guaranteed form of wealth creation is life insurance. Because you will die, it's the only lotto mm -hmm. that even the person you're who does... You're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think that is the most important... Yeah. You can be. It's a it very is the important one the 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 You can be guaranteed. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Exactly. Yeah. You, you will definitely know that. that. If mm -hmm. you don't have any luck at all, like me, I have stayed low to about 20 times. Yeah. I have not won one pound, ever. The highest I've won is 50 pounds, that's it. Oh, my brother, you have luck. <laughs> I have not pounds. won one pound. <laughs> but insurance is the only lotto that you know for sure you will win. Yeah, yes. Be dying, you get me? Yeah. And you win heavy and amount of yeah. You get me? Mm -hmm. So... I'll give you this scenario. My own daughter, she's 13 years old. 
She her best friend is a white girl called Macy. A month ago, Macy's grandmother died, leaving her with an insurance money of two hundred and fifty thousand. Macy is thirteen today, right? The grandmother left a house, a three-bedroom house in Dillingham, two hundred and fifty thousand, two horses, and then some cats, right? My daughter is in the same grammar school with this girl. Mm -hmm. They will be eighteen years old at the same time. Mm -hmm. So guess what? By eighteen years old, she's starting with two fifty. Macy would have started life with two hundred and fifty thousand, yeah, and a house which is paid off. Why is it paid off? The grandmother had a life insurance guaranteeing to pay off the mortgage. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when the grandmother died, whatever amount was, was left, left on the mortgage was paid off. So Macy has no debt to worry about when it comes to house. She can go into the house in and out free. She's not paying on the house anymore. Plus, she has 250000 to play around in her life with. But my daughter would have zero. She now needs to start life to try to make ten thousand. Yep. How long does it take for an average person to Say make ten thousand pounds? Yeah. That's a whole year, twelve months, and even with that, yes. you can't even save. Mm -hmm. No, you have to be paying your bills. Yes. So yes. how are you going He's to talking save? about savings? Yes, so no, no, then, not, then, not earning. Not earning. So, okay, <laughs> then, then it's going to be years. Yes, it's, it's going to take you years, years yeah. to save 10,000. How mm -hmm. many Ghanaians walking about today have a thousand pounds in their pocket? Mm -hmm. Not many. I can yeah. tell you that. Not many. That is why when something happens, we always have to go cuck in hand, beg game. For contribution. For contribution. We are tired, sick and, and tired. And I suppose of if we are uh, to even we need to we start. have a, a funny thing about mm -hmm. this thing. Mm -hmm. Typically, in, in, in a black environment, if somebody dies, mm. there's a lot of noise and a lot of wailing and a lot of crying. Yes. It, it goes on to tell you about life policy mm. in the sense that when you see a white funeral, it's people dressed up like really nice yes. with their dark glasses yes. and, it's very, their and it's a very nice uh, environment. Yes. There, there's no noise. No. The reason is that that person mm. is actually their departure. It's actually made the people behind better. Better. It's covered. So they are investing mm -hmm. in their next generation. Absolutely. And this is where we, as a people, mm -hmm. we've been here for far too long. Mm -hmm. These are basic things that mm -hmm. we need to learn of the system mm -hmm. as people to ensure that we are also leaving a generation behind better. Better. A friend, so, a friend of mine mm -hmm. has lost his wife, as well, I was telling you earlier yeah. on. And they've got insurance covered. So the guy is not really hit and really down. Mm. He's grieving, mm. you know, because he's bereaved at the moment, but it's not as bad as there's no way it will be if yeah. there was nothing <laughs> left behind. <laughs> so yes. yeah. those things that is, must be wiped off. We need mm -hmm. to change it. With insurance, we yeah. need to change it. Because if you know that your mom or dad has died and has left you a whole chunk of money, mm -hmm. you will be sad, but you know that you still have some part some of your dad around you. Behind yes. you, yeah. You get me? You still yeah. have your dad. Yeah. He's yeah. left yeah. you mm -hmm. with a whole chunk. But and you, can, you nothing, can speak to him, speak to, about him in, in a dignified, in a dignified, yeah. dignified manner. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know, because the man has left you in a good stead. But you don't want a circumstance where we people, people will say, "Oh, Papa no call Eddie, they tell you That's uh, and and we, we normally and usually hear that. Mm. Yes, yeah, yes, this is it. So yes, it's important that once you hit twenty years old, you are an adult. Start thinking insurance, because when it comes to insurance, the younger you are, the cheaper insurance is yeah the older you are the more, the more expensive, expensive and almost more impossible mm -hmm. it is to get to insurance get because my brothers you will get your broken heart from that woman that you've been chasing mm -hmm. as you grow and you're breaking your heart will take you to the gp chest pains this pains you get high blood pressure mm -hmm. if you get high blood pressure you might end up getting some other diseases you are prone and to and, and then, 
additional you additional know. you know and then in the end the insurance provider does not also like high risk because at the end of the day it's his money high risk uh, client yes, yes you are too much of a risk yeah. because you have too many diseases yes. and so they say okay you know what sorry we cannot give you insurance yes. remember you cannot go to the market to buy insurance you must apply for it if anybody anywhere comes to you to say i'm going to give you 10 pounds insurance for 100,000, tell him you are a liar run away from him don't go for any missold insurance yes. from the banks and other crooks <laughs> oh yeah and i yeah. suppose with the issue with insurance as uh, mr Boyd. mr boyd yeah. said the um you know you need a more established it is better to go with the bigger companies that are like Royal Life, that do you know the Aviva, insurance these insurance companies mm -hmm. that are well established, yeah, because they have the es economies of scale, mm -hmm. absolutely, you know, and they they've been there for so long, mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't come to a time that you want to claim any. You you are everything is correct. You so, you sorted the correct advice, yeah. and you are going to be denied. Yeah. It is not going to happen. So yeah. that is also uh, something. Viewers, let's come back to it and make sure you subscribe you hit the notification button and then you receive new prompts and alerts when the new videos come in but try as a Ghanaian go for insurance but i was before we, we even come back I, I, let's come back and i'll ask you that question because it's very important mm. 